A symbol of dialogue and racial healing stolen from a Davis neighborhood. It wasn't an elaborate work of art, but neighbors say it was powerful. CBS 13's Ryan Hill tells us the artist behind the image is hoping the theft sparks an even deeper discussion. Murals and different signs of George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement can be found all over our region, including right here in Davis. Virginia Bach wanted to bring murals to her own neighborhood. Maybe a week or 10 days after the death of uh, George Floyd, we reached out to a friend of the family who was a young artist and asked him if he could do something for us. The artist painted these murals for Bach and her community to hang on the surrounding fence, but... It was stolen over the weekend. An upsetting sight for something Bach says struck a chord with her neighbors. I heard that a lot of people stopped by, a lot of people came and put flowers. People have come with their little kids and have talked about conversation that are difficult, even though it got stolen, it had, it had such a life for the two, three weeks that we've had it here. The artist wonders why this specific mural was taken. The fact that the Black Lives Matter mural stayed up and the portrait of George Floyd came down is kind of confusing to me because at first I thought that it would be people who didn't want Black Lives Matter messaging um, to be out in the community because they might think it's too controversial. Bach admits even she had concerns about the mural staying power. And his response was like, you know, if it gets stolen, I'm just hoping it's for a good cause. I'm just hoping it's someone who stole it for the message and who appreciate the art. While the community would like to see it returned, a replacement is already being discussed. Spread a lot of conversation within families, and that was our hope. I think that we can learn from it, and all we got to do is just not let it stop us. After all, it was just a sheet with some paint on it. <laughs> I can make another, you know. You can't replace the lives lost. You can replace the art made. And Ryan tells us the artist is working on getting a replacement mural made.